Hello, this week I drove past one of the new Instavolt chargers. These are rapid chargers with Chatamo and CCS plugs on them, and their main benefit is meant to be that they're simple because they allow contactless payment. So, how is it to use one of these? Let's find out in this video. I'd wanted to try out Instavolt chargers for quite a while actually, but there aren't any near where I live, so it just happened that I was in rainy Manchester, north of England, and uh, drove past two, and I thought, oh, well, I'll, I'll try those out and see how they go. So the first thing to note is that you have to reverse in, obviously, being in the Ionic, so the charger ends up behind you, uh, which means you can't see very much of it when you're sat in the car, but then it was just as simple as pressing the charge port button and going round and starting the charge. Now, I actually did it in the wrong order here without realising it, so I kind of, um, it was a bit sort of tight there, and the, I wasn't sure the lead was going to stretch, but I plugged in the CCS plug, and yes, it should be a bit more elegant than this, but this is just the design of it, and it's a bit tricky to do when you're filming and using your left hand when you're right-handed, so normally it would be much, much quicker than that. The plug was a bit sort of stiff and new, though, I noticed, and then it was just a matter of tapping a contactless payment card on the screen, um, there was a period there where it said it was authorising. You'll notice that introductory offer, I'll come back to that. Then it said to press start. Now you'll notice I actually pressed start twice here because there was no real feedback, you know, no haptic feedback or anything on, on the screen of touch feedback. So I wasn't sure that it had started, but you know, it had. I could see it said charging here. Um, and then it just had the instructions to tap the card again to end it, which I guess is a good uh, safeguard for someone else, you know, stopping your charge when you don't want them to. So then I sort of went back to sort of sit in the car for a little bit and see what's happening. Of course, in the Ionic, you're sort of looking at the charger out of the back of the car because you've got to back into it. Um, so I had to go out again and look at the screen um, and see what was happening. And then I noticed it was charging at 48.6 kilowatts. So that's really high, even at 72% reported state of charge there. Um, of course, it does taper off, so the remaining time actually isn't linear when you're charging at a rapid charger because of the taper. And then obviously I noticed this introductory offer, so there's not actually any bill for this. There's no. It is contactless payment, but it's it's free for the moment with their introductory offer. Um, so, you know, I couldn't show a bill to show that it worked. But then to stop the charge, I just went up and uh, just tapped the same contactless payment card against the part of the screen there as well. And that seemed to do it. It just said finish, card swiped. And uh, that was that. So the sort of step one, two, three of pay, start charging, charge complete, with the instructions of the site was pretty good. This message is repeated then when you go to the Instavolt website and uh, you can see about simplicity and transparency and with these 50 kilowatt DC rapid chargers the aim is just to have this 35 pence per kilowatt hour flat fee with no connection charge and no subscription and you just pay for what you use um, and that seems fairly straightforward. Um, so they have this model of the, you know, the 123, tap to start, uh, plug in and charge and um, then just, you know, pay for what you use and, and stop it. So I noticed two things here. Firstly, the charger again was very quiet, um, not, not like the DBT whining and, and howling noises. And also, I didn't actually have to select the plug that I was using. It automatically detected which one was connected to the car. So, you know, if you want to try one of these out, there's a map on their website, so you can check out if one is near you and give it a go. The process was very painless, fewer steps than using other charging networks that I've seen here in the UK. And it worked, and the you know the 48.6 kilowatt peak power that I saw, it can hold that kind of power at the lower levels in our Ionic and other kind of cars on CCS or Chatamo, then that's great. That's the highest power levels I've seen of any rapid charger in the UK so far, actually, for you know a non-Tesla uh, vehicle. It was nice to see a new design of charger. It was nice to see the different design for the plugs again, for them going in with the kind of little flaps to protect the plugs. Um, I guess from getting damaged and also from getting any kind of water intrusion. So it's actually nice to see that the design of these chargers is is changing, that, you know, there's kind of some evolution happening here. I think I've seen these chargers in Norway in some of Bjorn Nieland's videos. They might be in other countries as well. I'm not sure who manufactures the units. People have commented that I should wean myself off the Ecotricity motorway network and their DBT units. And I've been trying to do that whenever I can to try out different ones. So the ABB Podpoint charger and these Tritium Instavolt chargers. And I'll try and use more as, as, as and when I can and then do a comparison video of, of the steps of using all of them and the ease of using all of them. And I'd like to show, you know, that the contactless payment worked as well, but they were free of charge at the moment. So I'm presuming that the payment uh, software, you know, works behind the scenes. Um, that remains to be seen when they actually switch the payment on. So overall, I think the experience was great, and I hope to see more of these kind of Instavolt chargers, or that their simple model of, you know, the sort of three steps to charge um, catches on with other rapid charge providers here in the UK, around the world, 
keeps it simple um yeah so good and thanks for watching uh please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and bye for now